Hey, Tony Levin here. I want to uh, show you this wonderful pedal, the Big Muff, the Deluxe Bass Big Muff Pie. I just got it and I have tried it a little bit and I'm going to show you, I, I don't have time to show you all the things about it, but I can show you the things that I think are really special and important. Uh, the first thing when I plugged it in is, it, it, I've been playing the Big Muff, the Russian one and the Russian one not made in Russia and the uh, the graphic fuzz one. I've been playing them pretty much since the earth cooled. And uh, I love the, the sound. I don't know why, but they really work well for bass, for fuzz. So the first thing about this was to see if it had the, the classic Big Muff bass sound, and it does. So I like that. Now, what other features does it have? Plenty. A few very important things to me. Uh, the second knob, the volume knob, the second knob on it is blend. And in fact, to me, that's just, it, it seems like a simple thing, but for years I've been separating the DI bass, the direct bass sound, from the fuzz sound because I want to manipulate it. I don't want just the fuzz sound. I, I'll, I'll demonstrate that. Here's the fuzz by itself. It sounds great. But if you play a part that also has low notes in it, like a... Um, what's gonna, if you've been playing bass before, there, what's going to happen is the drummer and the sound guy are both going to say, w the bass, the bottom end disappeared, even if you have low end on the fuzz. So you want to have some of the direct, at least for me, I want to have some of the direct signal in there. So now I don't have to separate it before anymore. They have a blend. I have it all the way to, you know, it's all the way to fuzz now. But I can mix in a various degree of, of the direct signal. Even though you might not be able to tell on a computer really the big difference, uh, uh, the fundamental stuff didn't go away with that. And they not only do that, but for recording, where it's even more important, they put a direct out in the beginning and, and better yet, an XLR out on the, on the left side. So you can separate that. If you're recording, you want to give the engineer both separate DI and fuzz so that he can do the adjustment later in the mix. So that's really important. So this blend, I'm going to turn it back to to full fuzz. The tone, I like um, to screech my ears off. I have the tone set up full. It's a great option. Sustain, I have it sustaining on, um, they don't have numbers, but I would say I have it sustaining to the point of about three weeks after the tour ends. That's how long the sustain is that I have. Now there's one other thing I want to show you that even uh, like the blend knob, this would make it worth updating your regular Big Muff if only it had, if it only had this one thing, which is a gate, you might not be able to hear it, but there's noise, a little buzz, a little hum. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, boom, it's gone. I'll, I'll turn it up louder so you can really. Do you turn it up and I'm back to the. Now, this is in my home studio, which is relatively quiet when I'm on stage, or especially on stage in Europe, or especially like on stage in Russia the hum and the buzz could be louder than my signal itself. So it's a fantastic thing. But I was concerned like gate, uh-oh, gates sometimes change the, they make the, the effect glitch in and out. So uh, it's utterly silent. It sounds like it's off. But... So I wanted to try it with the gate to make sure that it, the signal is the same. And it's great, really wonderful. So now I get the Big Muff Pie with all the sound it used to have with this gate thing. There's other things, I don't have time to go into it at all. There's, there's a wonderful, uh, 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 on the input, you can switch it between an active bass and a passive bass because it will behave better if it knows what you're putting in. And then there's these, these two crossover, uh, a high pass filter and a low pass filter, which are switchable on and off. Uh, to say it quickly, the high pass works on the fuzz sound and it kind of gives you a notch where you can customize your fuzz sound. The, 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 the low pass, works just on the direct. Let me just put the direct bass. No, no, uh, no fuzz here. Now if I put this in, it's, it's also variable. Uh, I can't keep playing that too much because the house is shaking. You can't tell that in the video, but uh, I'm going to tear down the house. The ceiling's going to fall on my head. 
So there you have it. Pretty much uh, I talked about the direct out, the DI out with the XLR on this side. Fantastic. It's the it's the deluxe base Big Muff Pi. Don't forget the Pi because it's at least 3.14596 times better than the Big Muffs before it. So I recommend it highly.